Latin American dances from Piazzolla and Chavez and Beethoven's inaugural symphony highlight this CSO program led by Giancarlo Guerrero. The bandoneon, or button accordion, was invented in 19th century Germany. It was intended for use in church services, but ended up in the brothels and barrios of Buenos Aires. Argentine composer Astor Piazzolla embraced the instrument as he melded the sounds of tango with classical music and jazz. He wrote his concerto for bandoneon and orchestra in 1979 on a commission from an Argentine bank. His publisher later nicknamed the piece Aconcagua, after the highest mountain in the Andes. The concerto showcases the soloist in moments of tender melancholy and rhythmic elan. Bandoneon soloist Daniel Binelli joins us to celebrate the centenary of Piazzolla's birth. Like the tango, the chacon began as a fiery, even suggestive dance form with Latin American roots. In the 17th century, Dietrich Buxtehude wrote his chacon in E minor for organ. Fast forward to 1937, and the great Mexican composer Carlos Chavez transcribed it for orchestra. Chavez was part of the same artistic renaissance that gave rise to Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. He came to Buxtehude's piece while serving as director of the Orquesta Sinfónica de México. The orchestration, Chavez wrote, was undertaken for the sole purpose of making such beautiful music available on symphony programs. Finally, in 1800, Beethoven staged an elaborate benefit concert at Vienna's Burgtheater. The 29-year-old improvised on the piano and capped the program with his first symphony. Reaction was tepid at first. One critic, even wisecracked, that the symphony was a caricature of Haydn pushed to absurdity. This remark must have deeply annoyed Beethoven, who was seeking to boost his public profile and escape the shadow of his one-time mentor. But over time, the C major symphony was recognized for its bold strokes, including a minuet that sounds less like a genteel ballroom dance than an irrepressible 19th century scherzo. Beethoven dedicated the piece to his longtime supporter, Baron van Swieten. Thank you.